Brown Jr. Focus winner. Today's message is be calm for God. Romans 8, 28. And we know God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Psalm 16, 8. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he's right beside me. Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Again, today's message is be calm for God. Now, God didn't create us to be worried, to be anxious, to be panicky, to be scared. God created us to be in peace. God created us to be calm. And God will reward you if you stay in peace. If you remain calm, no matter what you face, God will reward you. Now, a few years back, I was attending the International Christian Retail Show where I was promoting some books that I had written. And my flight back to LAX in California was canceled. No other flight was made in this place. So you should see people running around in a panic. It was bedlam. People were screaming. People were running. They were trying to get a flight back to their destinations. I said a quick prayer to Jesus. I said, Jesus, I know you're with me. You're right with me. I know you'll get me home. So I go up to a flight attendant and a young lady ahead of me in line to talk to her about getting the flight back. She was cursing her out. And the flight attendant looked a little frazzled. I get up to her, let's say her name was Mindy, I'm not sure if that was her name, but I, I go up to her, I said, Mindy, it'll be, I would be so grateful if you could give me flight back to LAX. She said, Mr. Brown, let me see what I could do. So, she says, Mr. Brown, I got you a flight, but it's not a non-stop flight. It's a connecting flight to Chicago. And your flight from Chicago, I know, I see that, I see you prefer owl seats. It's a window seat. I said, Mindy, that's wonderful. I just want to get home. She says, also, your luggage will probably come, back, come by the next day. I said, that's fine. Just give me a flight back to LAX. I'm so calm. I feel Jesus in me. So, by the time I get to my connecting flight from Chicago, I board the plane and I'm surprised to see a young lady sitting in my window seat that I'm supposed to have. And so I ask her, hey, hello, I think that's my seat. She says, I hope you don't mind, but I prefer a window seat. So I'm going to switch with you and you can have my owl seat. See how God rewards being calm? I got an owl seat, which I prefer. God is with me right there all the way back to LAX. So I land in the LAX airport. I go up to the airport attendant. I'm trying to find out what time I have to come back to get my luggage the next day. She says, Mr. Brown, your luggage is coming down right now. Baggage claim area four. God rewards you when you stay calm and when you stay in peace. Now I have another example. I was a bank examiner for the Treasury Department. I was doing a, examining a multi-billion dollar bank and they brought up at least 35 individuals, lawyers, accountants, consultants, and I only had myself and an assistant in the meeting. So I present my findings and then they have all of their specialists, their lawyers, their accountants, their, their consultants, rebut each of my findings. 
What they didn't know, I came into the meeting prepared. I had talked with my lawyers on the Treasury Department side and also talked with my accountants on the Treasury Department side. So I knew all my findings were meticulously sound. So after the meeting is concluding, they were saying, Mr. Brown, what do you think about what we had to say from our consultants, our lawyers? I stand up and I calmly say, we agree to disagree. It became legendary as the we agree to disagree meeting, a standard for other examiners to follow. You don't have to go back and forth for hours. Just tell them that your findings stand. God will reward you if you stay in peace and if you stay calm. If you don't panic, but you stay in peace and trust in God. You keep your eyes fixed on God, not on what's going around you. Keep your eyes fixed on God and he will reward you. So be calm for God, for he's right beside you.